Welcome back to the Kotlin Whisper channel. Today, we're going to look at Docker for Kotlin documentation, the second part where we're going to deal with multi-module projects. In the last video, we explored generating documentation for single module Kotlin projects with Docker. Today, we'll tackle multi-module projects. Docker seamlessly handles them, allowing you to document each module independently. Welcome back. This video will dive into using Docker for multi-module projects. We'll set up Docker and generate beautiful documentation for a sample project with separate app, domain, and model modules. Today, we'll also learn how to configure Docker for multi-module projects, understand multi-module source inclusion, and explore the generated documentation structure. Maybe we can start by asking ourselves, why do we build multi-module projects? The primary objective of separating code into modules is usually organization and usability. Our project has three different modules. We have the app module. This is the entry point for the application. We have a single file that looks like this. It simply contains a main function that executes our shapes calculator application. We also have the domain module. This contains functionality. As you can see, there is a class that provides functionality for calculating area and perimeter of different shapes based on the properties. Lastly, we have the model. This is just a simple file that represents all the possible shapes that we expect to have and the different properties that each shape will contain. In order to set up Docker for multi-module projects, a lot of the things that we discussed in the first video still hold true. Today, we're going directly into just the pieces of functionality that gets us to function in a multi-module setup. Firstly, let us head over to our build.gradle file in our root project. There's primarily two things to do. Number one, adding the Docker plugin. Secondly, applying the sub-projects plugin. This is done in this manner. We can try out several other things in the Docker block if you want to, in the event you want to customize the location, the flavor, and just how many modules you want to include within this documentation process. Since we already covered that in the previous video, I'm not going to do that today. Once these two are done, what we can now do is simply generate our documentation. Let us head over to our terminal window. In order to get our documentation to be generated, all we have to do is run the appropriate Gradle task. This is To generate HTML docs, you use Docker HTML multi-module. Once you've done that, wait for your documentation to be built. This may take some time. Our build was successful. Now we can head over to check what documentation was produced. If you had not set up any custom directories where you want your documentation to be generated, the default place you can find is inside your root build folder. There'll be a subdirectory known as Docker, and you'd have the Docker HTML multi-module subdirectory. There is an index.html file which you can run on any browser of your choice. Let me open mine from Firefox. Amazing. Here we have all our three models. You'll see the app module, domain module, and model module. You can go into each of them to find out the different subclasses and files that have been documented using KDoc. For example, let's head into app. Within app, we have the package name and we have the file main, which contains the following. You can also go into domain, check into domain or shapes calculator. You'll see the class tells you everything about uh, that class that you need to know. Lastly, you can head over to the module. Probably let's pick circle, see what circle contains. So you can see uh, this is a data class representing a circle with the properties. So it has the area, perimeter, and the radius. That is how you add Docker onto multi-modular projects. Now, you may ask yourself, 
how does docker integrate with android well good news docker is officially supported with the android um, runtime projects and it is very easy to set up setting up of docker in an android project would entail looking at the android project as a multi-module project by design all native android projects in as much as they contain a single app module file they are treated to directly contain multi-modules from the get-go so the default file structure assumes that you're going to add multiple other modules later therefore if you try to set up android documentation using docker by looking at the single module approach it necessarily will not work let's have a very quick look at a project that i have already set up documentation on android using docker here i have an application don't worry about what it does this was an interview i was doing some time back now let's focus primarily on how to set up docker to begin with in our build.gradle file we will use the same exact things that we've been doing before however there are some few touches i have um, added on to it number one we want to define the docker plugin as always you must have the plugin set up for your gradle to be able to identify all the different commands that docker supports secondly i have made some customization as to where i would like my documentations to go i have set all my docs to go into the docs path so instead of going directly into build i wanted it to go into the docs path reason being i wanted to take this project and deploy the documentation pages elsewhere and as we know the build folder should never be checked into version control so to work around it i customize the path where i'd want it to go such that i'm able to send my docs into version control the next thing you need to do you'll have to go into your app module within your app module ensure one you have set up docker again in the plugins this time around you don't really need to specify the version since it will be picked up from the root build.gradle file and that's about it all you have to do now from here is head over to your terminal and with this we'll use the same approach we'll have gradle docker html multi module you'll wait for your build to complete and then we'll check for our documentation great once our documentation has been generated we'll again use the same same approach and look into the docs therefore head over to docs get our file i'm going to open it in firefox as well and as you can see our application is done um, it has a it shows a single module now again that's the case that we don't really have any other modules in this specific project but android projects are all considered multi-module with docker open onto and you'll see all my packages and the things that i've been uh, working on and let's just pick a very 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 simple one probably the repository um and i can look into something like the authentication repository i guess so you can see i have something that checks whether you're signed in um something that signs in its user and signing out currently signed in user that's all from me today remember docker is a way to get your code base easy to work with especially if you design open source projects it's a good way for people to get started by just going through your documentation reading through what this file does, what this other file does. And it gives a very, very, very nice way for you to be able to follow through the code that you're writing.
I encourage you to try out Docker within your applications, whether they are on Android, whether they're just basic Kotlin projects. They are a very, very, very good way to get started with documentation and following in the culture of documenting your code. With that said and done, thank you all for signing in. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.